We end tonight with two women making an unusual fashion statement. They have very special bags filled, as Michelle Miller tells us, with the American spirit. Handbags are one of the signature statements for every fashion conscious woman. I love the way this looks. I do like the size, actually. And Lauren Bush and Ellen Gustafson have managed to turn this accessory into a necessity in the fight to end world hunger one bag at a time. There's no other option. We have to help feed these kids. We have to help get them into school. That's, that's the only option we have. The pair met four years ago through their work with the United Nations. What they witnessed inspired the launch of their collection, Feed. This was the first bag I designed. It's called the Feed One Bag. Their first bag, a $60 reusable shopping tote, provides a school meal for a child anywhere in the world for an entire year. World hunger seems so far away and so overwhelming for most people. So to know exactly what you're doing um, is great. Feed now has a dozen styles in some of New York's most popular stores. Prices range from $15 to $195. The costs vary because each bag does something different. It feeds two children in school for a year. And says so right on the back. So it's no surprise that when the earthquake hit Haiti, Feed designed the Feed Haiti 50 bag. It provides 50 school lunches to children there. That meal that a child gets in school is almost certainly the only proper meal that they get every day. Since 2007, Feed has donated five and a half million dollars to the UN World Food Program. To know that just through selling a product that we're then giving back to what is most essential in human life, which is food to thrive, it's, it's, it's powerful. It's very powerful. Success is counted in the number of meals served, 55 million in just three years, and in the faces of children who now smile in the absence of hunger. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York. And that is the CBS Evening News. I'm Katie Couric. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.